time. This portion of the Ray Lucia Show is brought to you by Pipeline Oil and Gas and is for informational purposes only. It is not intended to promote or sell securities nor give legal, tax, or investment advice. There are many risks associated with investment in oil and gas, including the loss of principal. Private placements in oil and gas are available only to accredited or qualified investors. Pipeline Oil and Gas is not endorsed by this network, the local stations, or the talk show hosts. Now that's what I call a disclaimer. Welcome back, folks. This is the Ray Lucia Show. Glad you are here. I'm really glad you're here because uh, there's a great song playing and a great guest. Brandon Cox from Pipeline Oil and Gas. Brandon, you saw the disclaimer. You heard it. Uh, a lot of people concerned about the risks involved in an oil and gas investment. You've got a huge smile on your face. Tell me why. Well, I mean, I think sophisticated people understand that risk is in everything we do, right? But calculated risk is what you want to focus on, and then you look at risk-reward. But yeah, risk is just part of it. So uh, for me, I feel like I'm a pretty conservative guy. I mean, I know we all love attorneys and disclaimers and all that stuff, but uh, when you really look at it, I can think of a hundred other things that you could invest in that are way more risky than the, than the stuff that we're doing out in the oil and gas field. Not to say or indicate in any kind of way that it's risk-free, it's just you have those different levels, right? So here's the thing about oil and gas that I've discovered uh, in my own research and certainly in, in visiting with you, and, and, and that is it's measured risk. You're, you're really talking about individuals that do a tremendous amount of due diligence going in. So you have a pretty good idea. See, when I grew up in this business, there were the wildcatters. I mean, it was J.R. Ewing uh, type stuff. But, but now today... You've got technology. Talk about the technology real quick. It's, re it's really become a technology play within the last three years, more so than the last five years. Outside of the last five years, you're just throwing darts at a board for the most part. Uh, but yeah, it's, it, it really gives you an advantage when, a, when identifying these hidden reserves that in the past may have been overlooked or maybe the novice might think that anytime you drill through a pay zone, you think that oil is going to come squirting to the surface, and that's just not the case. You can drill through a commercially viable pay zone and not even know it, and that's usually what happened in the past. But the technology today, 3D seismic, you have nuclear logging tools that you can, uh, uh, again, use to identify those reserves, make it very, very predictable in a lot of cases. Now, there are a lot of people out there that say, I hate the oil. I hate the oil companies. They're, uh, they frack etc cetera, etc cetera. can you talk about that well i mean again we try not to use the f word and down in louisiana we don't use the f word at all we have the natural porosity that the good lord gave us down there because just like the tide comes in and out on the ocean out, out there on the beach the same thing happens on our producing zones the oil and the water are able to tra uh, uh, travel through the porosity that's naturally there because of the sandy formations that we operate in. So we don't frack. Okay, well that's a good thing because the environmentalists hate you fracking oil companies. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be careful here. Anyway, uh, talk, talk about the, the, the fact that there you were the other day, you were walking around Los Angeles and Hollywood, you and I were out in Hollywood with our respective uh, uh, significant others, we'll say. And, and you went from frown to elation. Talk about that really quick. The phone rang, and like I've shared with you before, 99% of this business is doing due diligence and doing your work and prepping before you actually go drill a well. Well, we got to enjoy that 1% together because I got a phone call from my guys out in Louisiana in a well that we've been drilling for a handful of days. We finally touched down to the depth at which we wanted to be. And we were anticipating maybe 30, 40 barrels a day out of this one well. And they said we have 60 barrels a day coming out of that one well. And the exciting part beyond that is we know that we can drill another two to three wells in that same acreage, in that same pay zone with very high levels of, again, predictability because you've already isolated and proven that the oil is there. So now it's just a matter of how fast can you get it out of the ground, right? All right, now here's what's really, I think, interesting about that particular situation. The frown came from the hair that's on this deal. So I always ask him, give me the hair. Give me the ugly stuff, okay? Well, part of how you get to that sweet spot that we achieved is you got to do some research, right? And again, we don't go out there and we're not guessing. So we always, when we drill a well, we feel very strongly 
that the oil is going to be there. And the well, particularly before that, came in as what we call a marginal well. If it was producing oil, if we wanted to go in and complete it, we just looked at it from an economic standpoint and go, well, if this well is producing 10 barrels a day, it's going to take us a lot longer to get our money back. So do we spend the extra money to complete this well, or do we save that and then go deploy it towards this new well, which what we, is what we did, and then we hit the ball out of the park and it's a home run, and you can absorb that exploration piece on that what we call marginal well. So in the end, it all blends together, and it's a huge success still for the company, Pipeline Oil & Gas, but uh, for our clients. All right, remember there is risk in all investments. Make sure you read the offering memorandums, talk to your advisors, et cetera, et cetera. But this, this is an interesting non-correlating asset class because what the stock market does and what the bond market does will have no impact on whether or not that oil, that oil well produces, correct? Yeah, and I mean, I'm not nearly smart enough to predict the stock market, and I don't think there's a lot of people out there that can do that. So, you know, we're, we're very good at knowing that we can produce a barrel of oil, oil for 30 to 35 bucks a barrel and sell it for 105 on the market. I like those mathematics, and I like the returns. Anytime you can produce a commodity at that low of a cost and sell it for that high of a price, there's some money to be made. Now, there would be people, however, that argue, yes, but oil could be at 70 bucks or 60 bucks tomorrow. Uh, I remember when it was, and it wasn't that long ago. Yeah, I mean, they're exactly right. Those are part of the risk. We have risk out in the field, but we also have risk from a commodity standpoint when we're talking about the price. Because again, if we produce it for 35 a barrel, and the price of a barrel of oil is 30, now all of a sudden we're losing money. But we put hedges in place that keep our exposure and a floor in place, so we know our downside. All right, now, very quickly, because we're down to a minute, you've got a trip. You, you say, forget about all this other stuff. Come kick the tires, or in this case, feel the oil. Talk about that in 30 seconds. Yeah, let me take this shirt and tie off. Let's go out to the oil field, get our hands dirty a little bit, allow people to experience the oil fields firsthand, one-on-one, meet the pros, and get up to speed. So that way, when you want to have an opinion or make a decision on how you can get involved in this modern day oil boom, you have the information and you have the relationships now that you can access to ask those questions to make yourself feel comfortable. So uh, how do you get to uh, go on this trip? I mean, I, I know I'm going and Jeannie's going. Secret handshake. Okay. But if you don't know the secret handshake, you can go to PipelineOilAndGas.com and just click on there. It's right smack dab on the homepage. Sign up for the oil field trips. Love to have you. You must be an accredited investor. And it's a money back guarantee for anybody who wants to come. So if I don't like it, I don't like the trip? Money back guarantee. It's a pretty good deal. Brandon Cox, CEO of Pipeline Oil and Gas. Go to PipelineOilAndGas.com. Come to Louisiana with us. We'll get that beignet. We'll do some etouffee. And uh, he's also got some surprises because he's my buddy and he told me all about this stuff. It's going to be the time of your life. But we are going to be on a bus for a couple hours. A luxury bus. A luxury bus. TVs, bathroom, the whole Gotta have a bathroom when I go on a bus. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. Hey, folks, uh, stick around. Uh, we're going to check in with Rob and Johnny Dean, 877-PLANNER. Will you get to be age 100? And if you do, will you have money?